Hey everybody, a quick little video about how I get a liming stain effect on raw timber. Can't claim this one as my own unfortunately. It was given to me uh, several years ago now by an architect when I was doing a job for him. Basically it's a bit of a trick with Estopol. I prefer to use oil Estopol which I know is becoming less and less available these days. Also get a tint of a colour that you might like often white white liming is a great look so white tint that goes with the white oil estopol and it's basically a matter of mixing the two together a little bit of tint remember goes a long way so be very careful how you add the tint to the estopol and basically that is it i believe it comes up with a great look very effective and I, th I think myself anyway that it looks better than the liming stain that you'll buy off the shelf and it's also a lot cheaper. Check out what I've done with these uh, box floating shelves and how I've come up with the liming stain look. I've done this on lots and lots of jobs and as I say I've actually done it for architects in building jobs where it was a prescribed effect and uh, they were out to save a bit of money and um, it's a good way to do it <laughs> has a great look and you can play with the colors as i say i prefer a white finish uh, in this case i've added a touch of green and just to make it blend in with the walls slightly but gives an overall fantastic effect the estopol with the tint won't do the yellowing thing that oil estopol will do over time. The bit of tint that is in the estopol will stop that from happening, especially when it's on pine. So you won't get that yellow look after uh, 12 months or two years. You just got to be a bit careful with that tint, adding it a little bit at a time. And remember, tint goes a long way when it's added to estopol for a liming stain look. Okay guys, hope that helps you with a little bit of a hint on a way to get that liming stain look which is quite popular these days. Thanks for watching, see you all again very soon, bye.